Software Installation First, you need to download the Win32 Disk Imager. It is a tool for binding the system to the SD card. Then go to Raspberry Pi official website to download the image for Raspbian. After it's downloaded, extract it for later SD card system creation. Insert the SD card into the card reader and connect it to the USB port of the computer. Open the extracted image and click Write to write the system. It may take a while before it's successfully written. Keep the SD card connected with the computer. Open the root directory of the card and create a file named SSH without any surface. Under the root directory of the SD card, create a file WPA underscore supplicant.txt and write the following contents into the file. Change the SSID and password pass to your own Wi-Fi settings. Save the file and change .txt to .conf. Now you can insert the SD card into Raspberry Pi and switch it on. Raspberry Pi will connect with the Wi-Fi automatically. Download and install PUTTY. PUTTY is the software that connects with the Raspberry Pi via SSH. You can use a free Android application named Network Scanner to check the IP address. Input the IP address, click Open, and then click Yes. Now you can see a terminal pop-up. The default account is Pi and password is Raspberry. Setting up in a Raspberry Pi may take you a lot of time. So we write a Python program to do most of the works for you. Input the code below to download the program of this Raspberry Pi car. Then execute the setup Python program. It may take some time to finish. Meanwhile, you can install Python and other libraries in the PC. Pay attention to the 32 bits or 64 bits of your system when downloading Python. Choose the corresponding Python version based on your own system. Remember to add Python to path, so it will configure the environment variables during the installation. Press Window and R and enter CMD in the text box. Type in the code below to upgrade setup tools for later installing, and then install speech recognition. Remember, if Python 3.7 is the only version in your PC, you can use both pip and pip3 to install software. But when you also have Python 2 installed, you must use pip3 to install it in your Python 3.7 library. Download PyAudio.whl to install PyAudio, or you may install Visual C++ 14.0 to build the wheel a lot of space and time. You don't have to install Visual C++ to build a wheel. You can download the wheel from www.lfd.uci.edu. But you must choose the right version of wheel for your Python. Download it and save it in administrator folder so you don't have to input the path when installing the wheel. Type in the code below to install Pi Audio using pip. That is a long name, but you can input pip install pi and then press the tab on the left side of the keyboard to let the computer finish it. Then you need to download SWIC to connect computer programs or libraries written in C or C++ with Python. Extract it and save SWIC Win folder where you can find it easily and change the name of the folder if you don't want to add the wrong path. Just hit Window and R at the same time to get command prompt. Then input sysdm.cpl. Go to Advanced and select Environmental Variables. Double-click Path and add the path of Swig. Download and install Pocket Spins for speech recognition. As always, download it and save it in Administrator folder, and then install it. 
the last part. Install OpenCV, Open Source Computer Vision Library. But first, we need to install NumPy. NumPy is a general purpose array processing package designed to efficiently manipulate large multi dimensional arrays of arbitrary records without sacrificing too much speed for small multi dimensional arrays. Then download OpenCV and install it. Lastly, you need to install ZMQ and PyBase64 for real time video transmission. This is all for PyCapi software installation. Thank you.